What's up everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more of our Torox, the Brass Bull Vortex campaign. Let's play. And all you gotta do is look at our army to know just how god dang strong we are. We have basically slain every foe we've come across. Tretch is on the menu for now. We're healing up with a few of our armies. But man, we have devastated Nagaron. I mean, it's it's been wiped out. And we are pushing south with Kazrak, looking for kind of fertile grounds for us to establish yet another herdstone. Um, I haven't really settled on one yet. This one doesn't seem to be too bad. We might come down here, though. This one might be better. Let's go to the Temple of Kara, I think, with him. But anyway, guys, all we've got left to do right now, I think, for this turn is to spend some of the ridiculous amount of dread that we have access to. I uh, could use it to get more heroes. I don't really need any of those at the moment. Um, could save and get some of this. I mean, I don't know, guys. We don't really need any of these. We've kind of bypassed all of the, the need that we had for that. Right now, the only thing I'm really interested in, in upping is our uh, unit cap so we can get more better units. Um, I think getting more Bestigors is probably a good call. And maybe even getting more Centigors for future armies might be a good idea as well. Because I think we could even raise one more army if we wanted to. I'm not positive on that. Uh, but that also would not surprise me. Alright. Tretch tried to use the Underway to sneak past us. It's giving me a decisive victory, but he's been such a nuisance. We're going to fight him. The Battle of Slaver's Point. And look at our Chaos Spawn. We're just going to throw those right into the mix. Backed up by Giants. Our Hero Core is pretty strong as well. A couple, you know, a couple Archers, but the Jabber Slythe is going to be right up the center also. And this is an Underway fight. I don't know why I was thinking it might be a Beast Path. But we have to be in Beast Path stance in order for that to be a thing. Alright. Deploy that way. Let's lock them up. We're not going to do some crazy deployment here. This is a pretty straightforward battle. I just need to re-familiarize myself. It's been like a two days or so since I had a chance to play. We just take you guys in Hot Group 3. Hot Group 4. They can Vanguard deploy. That's just not necessary. And then we'll keep you guys together. All right. Let's go. Now they're very annoying because they have rattling gunners and lots of chieftains and they're probably not going to move. They just have a wall of rattling gunners. Four of them? Ugh. That will absolutely tear up our chaos spawn, that's for sure. If they knew how to deploy a bit better, we would be a little more afraid of them, I think. But I tell you what, let's use our ability here to take some of their ammo. It also takes their range away. 50% range reduction, that's pretty nice. And if we do that again here, which I'm not, I don't feel any need to like, uh, to like meta play this. Like I don't need to try hard that much. Otherwise, I could just sit here and use, you know, my next one, and it would be prudent. They summon some rats on me. Kind of annoying, because that does block up. Some of my units makes them not attack. Instantly broken, though. What kind of spells do we have? We have so many spells. Oh, that's right. That's from that one uh, item that I got. I was like, what the heck is this? We can summon these. We've got a Death Caster who's got a Purple Sun. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can cast one of those this battle. Come on, man. Keep running forward. Yeah. Perfect. Let's get one of these. Let's get our Gore Bull and our War Gore over to this side. Actually, no. Get them up the center. I was looking for the Lord. The brightness here is a little awkward. Maybe if we look this way. 
Nah, it's still hard to see. We gotta get these things on the rat gunners. Akash Ak. Red Quail. Ugh. Jesus, I don't know if that's the gamma or what, but that is uncomfortably bright. Alright, let's take the ammo away here. Oh, I don't have overcast on this yet, so I can't lower all their leadership. I would like to zoom in here, guys, but I don't want to go blind. Very interesting. Everybody just keep pushing forward, please. Manticores. Yeah, we'll just run them off. If memory serves, if you get caught in the underway, and you lose, it's the same as if you got ambushed and you die. Get some spear leeches going. I hate this dropped order stuff. Just go! Attack anything, please. There we go. Kind of seeing just what other... Like this guy, we can use that real quick just to get him some extra HP. Use his potion of healing. Man, what a painful map to look at. I need to figure that out. There's still some weird things in this game. They got messed up, you know, through certain iterations of patches or DLCs that just never got fixed. Every snow map used to look like that for a while. That blinding white. And then they fix it. It was funny because Total War Warhammer 1 didn't have those types of problems. It was only later that it became an issue. So I think we also had a quest to kill. Tretch. Oh dang, they came out of their... Okay. I was about to go hit these guys at the city. Uh, but it looks like their army came out to fight me. Um, this is a strong force. I don't even know if I can beat this. Uh, I can if I goon out Shakira. Yes, I know her name is not Shakira, but we'll pretend. Can I sing a bunch of Shakira songs off the top of my head? Absolutely. Will I? Nope. <laughs> not today. Not today. They got a bunch of Lothar and Seaguard. This is kind of rough. Um... Some of our best assets are just not good. Versus, they just have all these spears. It's all anti-large all the way down. Always was. This is a cool map I feel like I don't see often enough. If we had the range superiority, this would be a sick like holdout point. But we do not. So we're going to have to go to them. And we're going to have to go to them quite quickly. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Vanguard deployment on my entire army. And this... It's probably not going to go super well for us. Tuscor chariots are going to have to really pull their weight. I can't afford... It's not a good start. I can't afford to miss micro them in this battle. I need them to overperform, not underperform. Now we've got a doom bull here that we can pair with a gore bull. And I mean, they'll kill anything. Let's make them high group 5. What do you have for me? Uh, Wizen's Wild form. That's not great. And these dudes are going to have to play catch up. Okay. They're going to have to play catch up big time. Lock all this. Make sure these guys are out front. 
Okay. This little hill terrain is really working in my favor. I saw the Lord for a second. She's the one we got to get on. There we go. Go get her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't like that. I need you close enough to cast this spell. God, if I had one good AoE spell here, it would be brutal. Alright, let's go, let's go. Looks like they braced right at the last second. Everything else in our army is basically fire and forget. Let's stick some of these spawn. On top of their chariots. Okay, okay. We can chew up these, like, basic archers pretty easily. Let's pop that on these guys, debuff them. That's one of our best tools here. Their chariots are chasing my chariots. It's a little annoying. Let's just go bust these chariots. I think we can. Oh, she's on a horse. I just realized. Okay. Alright, is your chariot dead yet? No, what are you guys doing? Back up, homies. Alright, let's leave this nonsense fest behind. Combination of a Gorbul, plus a little bit of Archer Fire. You rallied. Come back in, guys. See if we can get a rear charge here. There we go. You ain't going anywhere. Hmm. Let's get out of there. I, man, they, their chariots are performing pretty well. Everyone needs to make sure they have their targets. All right, all right. Use our chariots to go chase these guys down. We're getting wrecked a little bit on this flank. Can't catch him on a horse, there's no way. Or her, rather. So they attacked me. I mean, they'll be able to retreat and get back to their homeland a little bit. Make it so that these dudes can't move. At least for a second. So fast. But this is a good opportunity to get a bunch of kills. Because we will have to face this army again. And if I can do it with a few less Lothar and Seaguard... It may make a difference. It might not, but it, it may. It has in the past for me, that's for sure. Need to get an offensive spell on our, our Shaman, though. Our Bray Shaman 
Wizards Wild form is, you know, if we had to duel a melee lord with our Doom Bull or something like that, it would have been great. But we had so many big blobs there, a nice flock of Doom would have been called for. We lost one of our Chaos Spawn. I'm going to take the Replenishment. Alright, Morgur got craven by name, turning and running away under the auspices of coming back with reinforcements. It's just running away, and the mark of a coward to boot. 12% speed, and bonus leadership for our army plus 4 during subterranean battles. That's actually pretty cool. Defeated him, so we got the Luck Stone. Alright, lots of good stuff. I want to go here and take out the Temple of Kara. Army's in great shape. We'll be able to hit them next turn. This turn, though, we should 100% be raiding. Alright, Malagor here is leveling up a little bit. He's got double Wargore. Once these guys get on chariots, they will be absolute powerhouses. Where am I going, though? I can't remember where I was going with Malagor. Morgor, however. Let's see, what options were we taking with Morgor? We haven't unlocked this yet, we're not level 12. We got all the freakish mutation stuff, I, I did want to get that. What else could I boost for his army? I'll look at it in a second. Make sure we're passing everything on. More HP for you. His army has giants, manticores, jabber slice. Hmm. I mean, I guess we already got the buffs for the ones that I would get them for. Let's just grab him some armor since his armor is so, so bad. A little bit of armor might go a long way on him. So when I look at this, the last area that I need to smash is the Qu Twisted Glade, which is where the Skaven are. I can jump all the way over here. And then, oh, nope, not yet. I don't want to pop this yet. I want to hit that place first. And Morgur's going to come in here and start cleaning this place out. And we'll probably put another Herdstone here if I can get one. Okay. These three guys are all settled. Torox needs to go, though. The Phoenix Gate is well leveled. Level 18. This one I'll actually fight. I didn't fight the other ones because they really weren't, like, worthy. But we'll fight this one for sure. Okay, okay. And then this guy, yeah, this... Oh, was it another army? I was coming to the High Vale. When he decided to stick his nose in my business. Definitely take the campaign movement range. You always want to grab that first. Blade Master. And let's get an offensive spell, please, as soon as possible. Probably after this gonna kill some of my army you know what I'm gonna choose not to care too much about that because I'm not gonna make it to my destination anyway oh a helm of discord is incredible it's almost too good for him but we'll give it to him he's earned it let's take that and to get into a camp stance, I need to have at least 10%. We'll move here. We'll camp. And then from here, we'll be able to recruit all the guys that we lost. 
Um, sure, I'll just get him some dogs. Uh, actually, I won't get him anything. Uh, what I could do... And this might be a great army to take some ogres. Okay, hold on. Let me cut these two. I'm rich, and I almost don't need the money anymore. I kind of just want to start going negative. Okay, that's good. I mean, how negative do I want to go, though? I'm only positive right now because I'm raiding. Um, we'll upgrade that. Oh, nice. We do have plenty of weapons to give these guys. More armor for you. And this is what I'm talking about. Amber Spear also wouldn't be a terrible option. And I did, like I said, have some armor. Or some uh, weapons, rather. No more armor, though. Do I have any arcane items? I don't. Little extra winds of magic, though. I do want to get the Mornfang cavalry in here. I would probably get rid of one of these Chaos Spawn and one of our Ungor Raiders to do that. And I didn't have to do that this turn. I could have waited and saved myself some income. But this army just got a heck of a lot scarier and way more fun. And I think that's all we're missing here is a little bit of the fun factor. Alright, that's it. That's our turn. We've got... Some more dread we could spend. Um. Pop a little bit into that. Because this guy is going to come up as we make more cash. We're going to make a lot of cash next turn. He's going to pop up. Oh no. Who is that? Is that somebody in a chariot? Is it Alistair maybe? I think he can take a chariot mount. Um, we're going to make a lot of money. I'm not too worried about the, the negative income. And we got more ogre mercenaries. For who? For Kazrak? Okay. I like it. Marcus is in the Temple of Kara. Daring me to go in. I, just for the sake of fun, guys, I'm going to take the dual weapons and the manis with great weapons. The, the Head Eaters tribe. And we're going to spend another turn doing this. I've also got my uh, my Korox Man Rippers that are back and ready to go. Uh, who am I going to get rid of? Um, Probably one of my Centigors with throwing axes. And there we go. That feels, that feels good. And in this army, they get lots of buffs. Okay, we know we're taking the Phoenix Gate. You good, sir. We're going to put all the ogres. We're going to get you all the ogres. Um, Let's take these two out. Get you guys in. And then... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I kind of want to keep these two. And I want to have... I like the archers. They did they did very well for us in the last battle. It's the chaos spawn. They're a little out of place. But they do provide poison. Which, if we mix them up in and amongst the ogres, they'll do quite nicely. Yeah, I'll just get rid of you guys. Oh, I don't have the money yet. Okay, well that's fine. This is Alistair. It's Alistair the White Lion. What's up, buddy? We're coming in hot. Got double leadership banners. I'm gonna give them to my, uh, my cavalry here. Gonna raise for the replenishment rate. The gods are watching. Still don't have enough to get my guy. 
Go into encampment stance. Um, I don't have anything to boost my ogres, unfortunately. Well, let's just start making that Doom Bull an absolute monster in melee. That seems like the most fun to me. And here we'll just keep buffing our flock of doom. Make sure we get the ability to overcast there. And you know what? I'll get one of those back since I can't recruit this turn at least. Um, Purple Sun. Get more Winds of Magic Reserves, I think. So my whole thing right now is do the scape and have another army here. Because this is a capital. Or, it's not a capital, but it, they probably have it uh, garrisoned to the point where it's it's got a series of walls that we're going to have to mess with. I'm, I'm debating whether or not you guys even want to see this fight. Because it's, it's a siege, but it's one that's going to be kind of tedious. And the enemies aren't all that interesting. I'm going to auto-resolve it for the sake of moving into more interesting fights. Let's loot and raise. Alright, Hellfire Sword is pretty sick. And okay. So with that, we can perform the ritual here. Get another 42 marks of ruination. And Malagor can go somewhere else. Probably. I don't think he's needed here anymore. What are we getting on him? Oh, that's right. We were trying to get to Greater Arcane Conduit. I'll grab another tier of Enfeebling Foe. I think that gets me there. Get a little more melee defense. And with what's left of my movement, we should definitely encamp and strengthen ourselves up. Okay. Now I have the ability to raise two herd stones. We're going to raise one right here. We're going to raise one and we're going to buff it up. Lower everyone's campaign movement range, increase our casualty replenishment rate. Would like to get Jabber Slice on you. I just don't want to spend the cash now that I'm going negative. I don't mind going negative. But I don't I don't want to spend the cash at this juncture. This is nice. This gives me some good fights to take. Is a Lithanar here? I don't see him. That army is not all that worrying. And they're not even recruiting this turn. They're in Force March stance. Okay, you're done. Is everyone done but Torox? Nice. Alright, let's go do the Phoenix Gate. Let's encircle for a second, because I want to see something. Where am I putting my next herd stone? I think it needs to be up here somewhere. That's not a great spot. Going to Tor Guard first might be the move. That gives me a pretty huge ground to hunt. You know, we're going to break the siege. That makes sense to me. Put the herdstone at Torgard, and then we can rampage this entire area and make a lot of marks off of it. It delays some of our fun for a little bit, but we're fine. Um, here... I kind of just want to keep getting Bestigors because I want that to make up a big piece of... God dang it, I can't click on them. I want to go down here to Kazrak. And I want to get rid of, man, something in this army. Maybe just these two guys and just have them free in our pool. 
I won't do it this turn because I can't I can't do anything this turn while I'm raiding. Let's roll it. Um, but yeah, I mean those two regiments of renown are fun and everything, but we can have them as like a rapid response. Like if we just instantly need to recruit an army, it'll be nice to have them. Nope, no peace. Not even with Throt. Ah, okay. He's trying to defend. I like the horde growth. I like the income from raiding, but I'm not really raiding all that much. What I want is the movement range, no matter how far. And I was going to raise this location, but not this turn. Can I reach the Temple of Kara? I can. Probably just barely thanks to the moon. We do have lightning strike down here, which is also good. Can get Call of Violence. Excellent. Let's go take the Temple of Kara and turn it into a herd stone. A close victory? Did they have an army here that I just didn't see? Interesting. Hold on. I'm going to take this fight partly because it's telling me I don't have great odds here. And partly because they have war wagons, which, if you've never seen them before, they're a super fun unit. I can maybe get some slow-mo shots of them. They're one of my favorite units to use in campaigns, for sure. I'll bring them all the time, even though they kind of suck. They don't really suck, but they kind of suck. They don't have a ton of ammo, and then when they run out, they're just like really bad chariots. But you just use them to absorb damage after they run out of ammo, because they're not going to get too many more kills after that. But it's their kiting game that's kind of fun. And you can just park them behind your units and they act as a firing line. Yeah, I mean, you don't even have the full army marshaled in front of me. There's no way. And we have Vanguard deployment on, like, our entire army. Let's get you guys locked up. I group two. Get you here, maybe. Should make that a hot group. Let's make this a hot group. And Jabber Slith can't Vanguard deploy. These two. Let's make sure we give these dudes a line of sight. Maybe make them hot group seven, something like that. Minotaur, Jabber Slice, you guys can be a team. Even though you can Vanguard deploy, I'm not going to make you. I'll put you with the Chariots. Alright. And you'll be high group 6. Alright. Let's go. There we go, and now we take all your stuff. Bring you in. Give my Bestigor some extra stuff here. And they're dead. Well, that was fun. That was a good time. And they were like, dude, it's going to be a close victory, trust me. Like, nah. I don't know about that, guys. It's like, trust me, man. You're not going to do very well. It's like, will I? Won't I, though? Let our Cygors do some work. And here are the war wagons, man. Looking majestic. Oh, God. Did we just get stuck on a... Just a couple guys? That's annoying. Oh, they have a mortar. There's the mortar. I'll tell you what. Let's go in hot again. It's fine. Jabber Slice, you guys are fine. Just get in. I can heal. Just run the mortar off the battlefield. Oh, 
I guess we should probably cast some spells, huh? I guess. How many kills did you guys get? 94 and 73? Pretty good. Take all your ammo. And at this point, we just need to try not to kill ourselves with our own... Cygors. Halberds are holding back the world here. Alright, there we go. One last call to violence before we dodge out. Yeah, we didn't we didn't even necessarily need to have a perfect engagement there. Our Jabber Slythe Minotaurs didn't do much. It, it's it's all good. Fun fun little army to fight though. Honestly, if they would have deployed together, not that bad of an army to fight us with. Lots of anti large and armor piercing. Uh, lots of range tools to drive back my centigors. It's the Cygors they would have had trouble with. War wagons maybe could go back there and harass. I don't know. They, they, they had no chance, but they could have made some plays, could have made some moves. But yeah, check out this close victory. Real close. And here we were going to raise a herd stone. Boom. I've got one here and one here. We need to start, like, kind of tying them together. Yeah. Kazrak's got a lot of work to do down here. There are some walls. Let's get some gore herds with shields, maybe. This is well defended. Do I start sending Malagor down here, maybe? Maybe so. I don't think Malagor, or not Malagor, um, Morgur is going to need any additional support. We had extra weapons, right? Sure. Hellfire Sword. Get some of this extra replenishment, too. Yeah, I guess we'll start heading south. There's a lot more fights to take. We could even get back involved with fighting the Tomb Kings if we want. Alright, take the heals. Far beneath an archmage. Um, here we'll buff that surprise they're gonna stand and fight here unless there's some army here I don't know about some Alithanar uber trap it's giving me another close victory this is another kind of interesting fight this one's much more of a close victory than the others they've got cab they've got range stuff Damn, guys, I'm going to auto-resolve this one only because I want to get to that big fight with Torox today. And I think we can do it if we hurry. Let's loot and raise. We've got uh, expectations now. Just want to grab another one of these dudes. I'll camp. I'll grab one of them. Level everybody up. As we do. Keep buffing the purple sun. It'll get cheaper. We'll be able to overcast it. Uh, we can only get one of these. Hmm. No Bestigor is here. Alpha Beast. Nothing really for us. 
This gives him Vanguard deployment when he's on a chariot. Also gives him fear and terror. You know what? I like this. Let's get an instrument of chaos here. More replenishment rate for this army. Hmm. And then let's grab Unrelenting War Herd just for fun. I think the armor one the armor one might be better. I'm just not convinced it matters all that much. It's only a 30 meter radius. Okay, big boy down here. He's got kind of his pick of who he wants to kill. The question is, you know, will I be able to raise another herdstone? Here at White Peak would be a great location. Let's just raid here for this turn. I can probably just jump here. Whatever. Let's let's keep raiding. Offset some of our money problems. Is that a Lariel? It is. She would have been good to kill. I'm sure we'll get the chance, though. Oh, um, man. This guy's level 35. Could just get all the spells, but... I think we moved everyone. Yes, I did want to do that. I did want to do this. Also give him the option to get some Centigore shenanigans going. On the board right now, we've got a lot of points to get. Whenever we destroy and complete the rituals. Oh, nice. We got bonus armor for our gore herds and best of gore herds. 105 on these bad boys now. Savage Mantle. Great thing to finish. What's next? Ambush success chance. I like that. Weapon strength when fighting gets dwarves, high elves, wood elves. You know what? I'll take that. It's fast. Only five turns. Orgy of Slaughter to cause terror. And then to boost Minotaurs. I mean... I'll take the ward save, I think, instead. And the melee defense. Alright. Can I get another army? Because if I can, I want to I wanna recruit one down here. I can't. I got to get to here first, which I might be able to do sooner than I think. Okay, we've got immortality now. On this caster, level 20 caster, very good. We're going to come down here and take this fight pretty much no matter what, so let's go do that. Hell yeah. Oh, and he's got his champion buddies. Can I not reach? Let's go. Hell yeah. It's giving me a Pyrrhic victory, but this is all melee stuff. I think we know what's going to happen here, guys. They have no artillery. They just have all these heroes, and Kazrak can probably solo them at this point. This will be fun. We're going to play this more like a traditional army. We're not going to Vanguard deploy on these dudes. There's kind of too many of them. Oh, nice, and it's a choke point battle, and we're the one with the artillery advantage? Yeah. It's all about whether or not they're going to sit in that choke point. Now, we can Vanguard deploy to hold the choke points. Let's see. Mm, but they're a little farther than I'd like. Because the idea is to get the Cygors up. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Because I'd want to hold both of them. 
So we can do something like this. This will be group one. Okay. You guys would be like group two. Let the Minotaurs be in the front lines with them. Get these guys more like this. And spread the poison out a little bit there. Lock them up. That's probably fine. Um, for the Centigors with great weapons, I'll put them here so they're kind of like a fast response group. They can get wherever I need them to get. Razor Gore Chariots, you guys, man. Same thing with them. They'll probably go over here. Throwing weapons. I'll put them on this side. And I'll use them probably more like archers than anything. Okay. Send you that way, send you this way. Start deployment. Oh no, you go over here. You go here. Cygors need to walk up. Can they already land shots? Oh my gosh, their range is so huge. Well, color me surprised. I didn't realize it was that serious of a range. We're going to send in Kazrak to go do silly stuff. They don't really have much here. Send in Kazrak. Ooh, the tree's blocking some of my shots. Let's take the time, invest it. Come on, man. Cast it, cast it. There we go. And we've got Pit of Shades as well. Which we will cast directly on top of our guy. This I don't even really need to watch. If they start getting through, we'll send these dudes in. Okay. Shoot in some amber spears and some fireballs. Just shooting my own guys in the back. That's that's not cool. Just keep sapping all their ammo. some of this stuff. I have no reason to overextend. What we will do though is come over here and start looking for the surround. If those swordsmen want to make something happen, we can we can play that game. Kazrag just took so much damage. Holy crap. Oh no, they're sniping him. That's that's not cool. Well, I'll tell you what then. Let's go teach him a lesson. Yeah, and as soon as we counter charge, it's over. Ow. Cygors, guys. Come on, man. All these enemies you could be shooting at. 
get one good satisfying rock. God dang it, I missed it. It was good, and it was satisfying, and I missed it. There we go. All right. Yeah, the sniping potential in Marcus Wolfhart's squad is pretty pretty serious. Kalara. I mean, all of them, actually. Actually, all of them. The only one he doesn't have is the, the Paladin. The Bretonian Paladin. He does his, like, multiple big wind-up arrows. She has uh, an arrow of Kernos. The Engineer can snipe you. Uh, I mean, he, does he still do damage over time? I don't remember. Fun little choke point battle. Um, we'll raise an advance. Hunted down. This time the hunter became the hunted, losing out to an opponent altogether more dogged, dangerous, and downright lethal than himself. Uh, missile strength for our army, not relevant, but missile resistance plus 10%. Very good on a chariot lord. And I'm definitely going to come over here and get ready to hit this place next turn. We need it for our herd stones. And then this is for my centigors. No, I want to get unrelenting savagery. Physical resistance for my bestigors. Plus melee attack and defense. None of them are going to get it yet. Except for our regiment of renown. But the rest will. Okay. This is good. You need to go, sir. He still has to heal, so we still kind of have to babysit, walk him. Uh, in Hag's Hall, though, he'll get some bonus replenishment. Yeah, and look at that. So we'll be able to just kind of force march him through the terrain now when we're done there. And then we can come up here and start taking out Karen Carr, which I'm sure has an army. No, it doesn't. It looks like Skaven have been here. Well, sorry guys. Y'all ended up being quite easy pickings, and we're gonna take the money once again. Blasted standard. Very cool. Missile parry with shield is what they get. Um, you. Oh, it looks like the Skaven came here and messed with this. So we're gonna have to go there and take that out. That might be Tretch's last spot. Ardor of Fury. For our army, they get they all get this ability. Primal Fury. Let's take that. That's sick. Then I keep thinking I, I'm doing all these fights. I should be getting all this loot. I'm just kind of not getting that much loot. Reduces miscast chance. Get him his Razor Gore Chariot. And then once we take back Blacklight Tower. We'll uh, roast this area, and then no one will be able to settle there again. And I think that's probably also Tretch's last area as well. I might want to pop that sooner. Hmm. Just so that it gives me another herdstone for my... Continue sieging. Because I was going to put a herd stone here. I might need to pop that one first. Let's just perform the ritual. Yeah. C consider that done. That way I can come here. This place is no threat. It sucks. I really wanted to get some solo Torox action today. But it looks like, man, the, the episode's coming, coming to an end pretty fast. And he's level 40. Let's raise an advance. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Can I just come back in here and raise a herdstone? Yes, yes I can. Okay. I did the wrong thing, but it's okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. And level 40, what's our last skill, man? I'm just going to get drenched in blood. Very fitting. Way more weapon strength for you. We'll take more weapon strength for you. 
And we've got a lot of targets around here for us to go and get. Like real, hopefully real good battles. Where we can test the strength of this army. Okay. The only one who hasn't moved is Ach here. I was going to ransack this place and make it a herdstone, but I think I can do that and just come back here after. Make it a herdstone. It's sort of a perfect spot, and I've almost got enough here to get another army. If I had been a little more patient, I would have it. Let's just loot and raise. Take our levels. Or Lord, it's not going to do anything. We don't have any Minotaurs. And our caster has maxed out Flock of Doom. Alright, I think we're good this turn. We've got a ton of points to spend, man. We generate a lot of dread. It's probably the number one reason to have so many armies. Oh, dang. Okay. This is a real stack. This is the first real stack we've had challenge one of our herdstones. And we're going to take this when we come back next time, guys. This is a cool fight. We're probably going to lose. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Gores do not match up well versus Chevron Saurus. And we don't have anything here that tells me that I have the advantage. I mean, I'm... These are artillery pieces that can also fight in melee. So, and these guys all heal. So we're going to get crushed by this. And I'm actually sort of looking forward to it. Guys, I'm Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff helps me out. And as always, y'all, I will see you in the next one. Take care, y'all.